In this video, I want to show you how you can use the SEO Master Shopify app in order to boost your SEO rankings. You can either just go to giraffely.com and click the uh, free trial button and uh, you'll be automatically redirected to uh, the page where you can add the app to your Shopify store or you can just um, go to Shopify App Store and search for SEO Master and you'll be able to find it that way as well. Here it is. Just uh, click it and it's going to uh, redirect you to the same page where you can just add the app to your Shopify store. So you want to click the uh, button to uh, add it to your store. Now it's going to uh, tell you what you're going to do, what you're about to do. If you're happy with everything, just click install app. Now, this is the welcome screen, which gives you a bird's eye view of uh, what you can do right away. For example, you can see your site score, the amount of uh, total issues fixed, and uh, the estimated save time. Also, you can optimize all your image, uh, all text with just one click. So you can just click the uh, Optimize Now button. It allows you to uh, define the rule that you'd like to use for that. For example, by default, all your image alt tags are going to be renamed according to uh, the following rule. So it's just going to use your product title and then the word free shipping and then shop name. So let's assume your product name is uh, red lipstick. So it's going to rename the alt tag for for the image of the product to uh, red lipstick. So instead of this, it's going to be red lipstick, then the word for shipping, and then your shop name. Let's say your shop name is uh, Amazing Makeup. Uh, the uh, alt uh, value is going to be red lipstick, for shipping, Amazing make Makeup, depending on what your shop name is. And you can apply it to either all your images or just to unedited images. So let's say all images. Click apply and it's going to do the magic. So it says optimizing. Now it's optimizing all your images. You can see the progress over here. So now you can see how many uh, items were influenced, fixed, and how much time it saved you. Let's uh, go over the uh, left hand sidebar and see what uh, it has to offer. So if you click SEO Checker, you get the option to uh, rescan your store. Let me click it. And it's going to basically rescan your store and find any uh, uh, technical SEO issues such as uh, meta title tags, meta descriptions, headings, alt attributes, and so on. You can see uh, what types of issues it checks for in the content area. Now the scan is complete and you can see what kind of errors you need to uh, take care of such as uh, again made a title tag, made a description, headings and so on. If you uh, click the caret in order to expand the uh, section you will see the exact uh, pages that you need uh, to uh, fix that particular issue on. Let's click the uh, first product page and it's going to redirect you to that page. Now you can see that the SEO score is not perfect. Now what you can do for this particular page is um, expand the actions uh, drop down menu and either click optimize content or optimize image alt. Let's first uh, click optimize image alt. Now you can see if uh, you need to optimize anything here but it looks okay because we have already uh, optimized it on the first uh, page as you remember. So like I said, it replaced the first variable with the product name, then the word free shipping, and then the name of the store. Then you can expand the uh, actions drop down again and select optimize content. 
now you'll be able to see what's wrong with your product page with this particular product page from specifically on page SEO standpoint. So on the uh, right hand panel, you can see all the issues you need to take care of. And uh, here in the main part in the main section, you can see where can do that. For example, it says that um, H2 heading is missing and it suggests uh, using uh, an H2 heading in the text. So over here, so let's copy face mask here and just make it uh, an H2 heading. So I'm selecting it, then uh, expanding the paragraph drop down and uh, selecting H2 here, heading two in other words. Now just look here, it says perfect. There is a uh, H2 heading on the page now. So we fixed this issue. And you can basically fix the rest of the issues in the same way. Basically, you see what the issue is. For example, meta description is missing. And uh, you need to fill out the uh, meta description tag, which is this one. Once you do that, uh, this error message disappears. So let's say we're going to just copy the uh, product description and use it as a dummy. Uh, made a description. Now it says that the made a description is too short. Let's uh, make it longer and see if it'll make the error gone. Now the error message is gone. Now it has this uh, green circle. And now it says perfect. Made a description is between 120 to 100 characters. So we fixed one more issue. If you want to fix the rest of them, you just need to go over each of them and uh, fix according to what the tool recommends. Let's see what else we have in the uh, left hand uh, sidebar. Broken links. As the name suggests, it allows you to um, fix any broken links. For example, this page is missing. And uh, if you click it, it's going to show you a 404 page not found error. But you can use this tool to redirect it to, say, your home page and so on. Then the tool allows you to uh, create an HTML sitemap. You can specify what uh, content types you want to include in your HTML sitemap. For example, products, uh, collections, blogs, uh, blog posts and uh, pages. In order to create it, you just need to toggle this uh, option on. And pretty much now you have a uh, an HTML sitemap. You can just click the uh, preview your HTML sitemap page link and uh, take a look at it. And here's how it looks like. Then you can also use JSON LD, which allows you to uh, enable rich snippets for your search engine results. And uh, you really want to have it to stand out of the crowd. It's enabled, but you can just click the buttons, disable, disable, disable to uh, disable it. Other than that, you can connect your Shopify store to your Google Search Console. You just need to click the uh, connect to Google Search Console button. And you'll be able to use details from your Google Search Console uh, right in your Shopify panel. And the last option is structured data which allows you to specify what exactly details you'd like to be used for your logo in the structured data in your rich snippets, uh, what business name you'd like it to be, brand name, social media profiles, and so on. All in all, as you can see for yourself, the SEO Master app got you covered when it comes to uh, many on-page and technical SEO issues that your Shopify store can have and you can easily fix that with the SEO 
Master app.